The Netherlands is a country claimed from water. Now it seems the water wants it back. Rising sea levels and overflowing rivers are making this low-lying nation increasingly vulnerable to serious floods. When there is no land, there is no country, there is no Netherlands. It's not a matter of saying, let's just abandon the country. We, we cannot do that. Will the Dutch be able to keep the water at bay? Or must they now contemplate the previously unthinkable, allowing the water in? We shouldn't any longer fight against the water, but, but use it and, and give way to it. Just let it come. We can't hold it back anyway. And if it comes, we'll try to make the best of it. Hans Bergmans has a farm near Maastricht on the Dutch-Belgian border. It's been in his family for generations. The farm is on an island in the River Maas, or Meuse, one of the country's five major rivers. In 1993, heavy rainfall caused the river to flood. The results were devastating. Just before Christmas, the Maas flooded when the Christmas tree was up. The house was full of fast-running water swirling about. In one day, the water reached up to here, about 60 centimetres. That's how high the water came to in the house. The flood wreaked havoc on the whole Limburg region, destroying homes and livelihoods and cutting off communities for over a week. The Netherlands is in a constant battle against its receding coastline. The tide creeps ever closer to seaside towns and villages. To strengthen beaches and dunes and protect communities, millions of cubic tons of sand are dredged from the seabed and redistributed near or on the shore. The waves will do the rest. But an even more radical project is underway for the Netherlands rivers. We used to, to have these dikes to keep the water in, in place, but now we learned we have to make uh, a places where the water can flow to in case of more water coming through the rivers. So uh, that is an enormous project uh, through the whole country for over 40 places where we have to uh, make room for the river, as we call it. The Dutch are recreating their landscape to allow rivers room to flood, but in controlled spaces. Large channels are dug out alongside rivers to create reservoirs holding overflow during seasons of heavy rainfall. A thousand hectares of land by the River Maas will be flood zones 